So in this video, we're going to break down the advanced mechanics of how to play really, really great defense. And we're going to go deep into the mechanics. If you want to know the base pattern that I suggest, that's going to allow you to cover 80% of scenarios and play really good defense with just one pattern. I have a, I'm going to link it up here, a how to play defense pattern video where you can actually go through all that. But this is the more in-depth video where we're going to go through the mechanics. So the first one is the backwards corkscrew. So we do the forwards corkscrew, which just looks like this. And the idea with the forward corkscrew is that we have nice relaxed level shoulders. We're nice and wide. Our weight is to our heels and we're loose and wide. What that allows us to do when we're going forwards is it allows us to move either direction, be nice and loose so we can have a base to be explosive to the next move. Um, and it allows us to, if we have the puck, puck protect. When we do it backwards, the exact same thing backwards, we're doing the exact same thing. It allows us to go left or it allows us to go right and it allows us to do it without too much effort. So that's a really important base mechanic. Now players that are not very good at this, I'm gonna give you a really challenging drill to do so that you can get good at it. And what that is, is it's going backwards, going down to two knees and then coming back up. What you'll see out of doing this is that when you're coming down to two knees, the only way you can get back up is by going out nice and wide with your feet. And that is that exact position you wanna be in when you're defending. And it's kind of like a goalie, right? You see goalies doing their drills like this all the time. It's like a very similar thing. And if you practice that drill going backwards, going down to two knees and then coming back up, you can be wide and loose which is exactly the mechanics that you want when you're skating backwards. That's the first in-depth mechanic. The next one is we're taking another forward mechanic, which we call the soft drag, and we're gonna do this backwards. We see Darlene do this a lot. So the soft drag going forwards is I'm here, I soften this hip, drag the toe, and then it changes my angle. It changes my angle without me having to lift my feet. It changes my angle without having to push. All I have to do is actually soften my body and I can move laterally. We can do the exact same thing going backwards. So when I'm wide in a corkscrew, I can soften this part of the body and then that's gonna change my angle. Nice and relaxed, loose, I can soften the body and that can change my angle. So coming back here, rather than dragging the toe, I just soften and then I shift my weight to the other foot. So I'm not shifting my weight like this, I'm actually just softening and then the weight goes there. That creates an arc off this foot and that changes the angle. A big key to skating backwards is not having to cross over other than your first step. So your first step you wanna cross over, that's to gain speed, but once you're defending from here, a good forward is gonna get you to cross over and then they're gonna go the other way. You don't wanna do that. So this is your secret to doing that. So as you're coming back, and you need to shift angle, you do it with a soft drag, and then you do it with a soft drag. So it allows you to change your angle without lifting your feet. This is a very elite move that you very rarely see taught, uh, and it's actually quite subtle, but once you see the top NHLers and top defensemen doing it, you can't unsee it. Now, that is the second secret. The third in-depth secret is the mechanics of the lunge. So, the last little bit that we talked about is that if you're down the dot and you're defending wide you're, and you're doing a good job, you're gonna force that player wide. That's what you want. So the mechanic to deal with that is as soon as they start to go around you, is to do a cross and then a shuffle. Now when I say a shuffle, the key part of that is getting on your outside edge. A lot of players will cross and then push. They're pushing off their back foot which is fine, it just takes a lot of effort and it's not gonna get you a mechanical advantage. It's not downhill skating. So what we're actually looking for is cross onto that outside edge. That outside edge is gonna give you speed without effort. And if you can time it well, it's cross, outside edge, and then you're also lunging with that. Now the key is you don't do that till they've actually started to go around you. Uh, so you want to make sure that you're timing that correctly, but that's the mechanic to do a really good job of that. So it's here, cross, outside edge, boom. 
So that is the last in-depth mechanic, is cross, outside edge, and then you're gonna extend your stick. And that's the end of the video. Hold on, pause, just a sec. I have one more bonus for you. So if you're a right-handed defenseman playing on the right side, or a left-hand defenseman playing on the left side, this was one of my tricks, which was that if a player did go around, and they were just like, let's say six inches ahead of where I needed to be, I would switch my hands, and then I'd get an extra foot. So that's your like little trick uh, that you have for the day. So when you're doing the cross, outside edge lunge to here, and you need an extra foot, boom, you just switch, and then you can tap that puck. That's always an extra little bonus too. So I hope you learned something. Uh, those are the in-depth mechanics. It's taking a lot of the downhill skating mechanics that you've seen and are taught and are shown in a lot of highlight reels, literally turning them backwards, showing you how defensemen do it, defense players do it, and how you can actually break that down and learn it for yourself to really move and defend like an elite NHLer. So I hope those tricks were helpful. If you wanna learn how the whole downhill skating system works and actually learn these skills from the bottom up, we have a free training, it's called the Downhill Skating Free Training, uh, and it'll show you exactly that. It'll give you an idea how to improve your game with less effort and do it faster. So I'd love to see you in that. But thank you for watching this video, and we'll see you soon.